All right, welcome back to Das Lab. What do we got today? This a uh, Christmas gift for me from my parents a long time ago. Ooh, if that's not bad enough. Listen to this. See if I blow a fuse. Watch your ears. I think that's hitting the armature. So we're going to see if we can get in here and replace those bearings or take a look and see what we can possibly get out of there. Let's start. Take the blade off. I, I don't even know what a new skill saw is worth. Crafting circular saw, I guess is the name. It's funny, they have a, you get that brand in your head and you just stick with it. The Kleenex. For free. But uh, it's been a good one. I think I damaged it cutting through pallets. And I was reading on the internet that that seems to be a big reason why people would. Take the bearings out of these. If you don't cut, if you're cutting a piece of wood, you got a lot of friction there. You should be cutting maybe about there. So that's why this is all adjustable. And of course, most people are too lazy to adjust it. So they just cut through with the, at the setting that it's at. And the end result is You might need yourself some new bearings. So I've never taken one of these apart before. I don't know if you have either. Maybe you're about to. Well, so are we. What is that? There's a spring on this, right there. A little catch for the spring. Got that to come back around. So I gotta be aware of that. That looks like a ring. But I don't see any way that that's gonna come off very easily. There's it's not a snap ring. There's no break in it. flats on there one flat let's see what this does for us There's a hole there. That's for something. Nice time of year. Here are the birds out there. Oops. That's it. All 
right. Yeah, there is one down there. There's another one under there. That spring. I'm worried about that spring. But oh, son of a gun! There is a split in that ring right there. Too bad there's no uh, you know, little patunkers to uh, grab onto it with. There is this, oh, this is a piece of dirt. Oh, sorry. Hmm, I don't want to do that to my knife. Oh, we can't tell for sure. There's something there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's really loose. And... Launch that across the room. Ooh, that's coming out nicer than I would have thought. Oh, it's, a, it's more than one turn. Huh. Look at that. I don't even know what you call that. And... There we go. There we go. Ooh, okay. There's the spring. Okay, we're going to leave that like that. Just remember the little hook is in there. Okay. We've got I'm going to go blow this out. I'll be back. And a little cleaner. Noticing that little notch there, that may have held the spring. Oh, yee, yosh, who knew? Who knew that? Is that even a bearing? If that's a bearing, that's shot because that will not spin no it can't be uh, just a bushing there's some numbers on there uh, i don't want to have to buy too many parts i'm hoping i can just get by some bearings you start getting into all these specialty parts well you know, oh yeah, cheap knockoff, but it's a cheap knockoff. You just knock them off. Just knock them off. Yeah, it's got a part number. Well, I'll have to look into that a little further. I didn't know. Uh, 
I didn't know. That is not a boy. That doesn't seem too worn out if it's Watch me undo screws. Okay. That doesn't seem bad. Where the hell is all the noise coming from? There's no play there whatsoever. I mean, yes, up and down there is, but what the hell is going on here? The brush is done. Give me the brushes are shut. Maybe, maybe that's all grinding on the brushes, but I had no shortage of torque, although it, it was binding a bit. I don't want to screw this up. Well, that's a good way to not screw it up. Time's left. Brand new, no shortage of no shortage of meat left on that. Uh, come on, focus. <laughs> so other than me dropping it, it doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. The uh, commutator here looks good. Not too. Uh, a little bit more light. I think that'll help. Sorry. The commutator. Would you get out of the way? Looks okay. There is, no, I don't know where the noise is coming from. And it's been growing over the years, so I thought those bearings were shot. Hmm. Oh. 
putting that back and I'm going to put this back I mean it's it's, it's good to know your tools I mean uh, yeah cordless and all that stuff but I, I don't know I don't find it's a big deal to get the old uh, circular saw out and uh, run it from time to time and I'm not going to go buy another one right away so I want this to be as good as can be that is smooth as silk I'm going to try to put this back together. Well, that's fast. Oh, not there yet. I knew the switch was going to be in trouble. Wait a second. Okay. Screws out. Switch in. Cord there. You there. Okay. One there. One there. There. There, there, oh, well, it's going to be a little bit of a mystery to figure out what's going on with the grinding noise. You guys probably already know, but we'll, we'll find out. Okay, I actually thought uh, on this pivot part that there was a screw missing here because I saw something over here. It turns out that's not a screw either. It's a, it is a pin that goes through, so that's that's well supported. So what I'm going to try to do is make sure that this is. I'm going to try running this. That's not going to fly off, and that wants to move. So we're going to give it a little bump and just see. Hopefully nothing's going to fly out of there. That's smooth. Smooth-ish. Smooth-ish. A little bit of a rumble on the wind down, but other than that, doesn't seem too, too bad. Well, I get... Say, so, uh... I don't know if this is the type of grease that when it gets warm, it kind of runs and lubricates a bit, but... I don't know if I have anything else to put in there right now. I got a lot of that stinky crap, but... So that... No, that goes in there. And again, that's not... That is not as loose as what I was feeling. Like, there's nothing wrong with the gears. You can see that. There's nothing wrong with the gears. And even that... No. 
That there feels tight. So I don't know where the rum line is coming from. Maybe it was something to do with the blade all along. Maybe it had something to do with the blade all along. So what if I just... Is that supposed to spin? That's the question. Is this... There's a big housing. There's something going on. That's not a bearing. Oh, it doesn't feel like a bearing. That's not supposed to... It's like a bushing. So, all. Well... Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens when we put you back together under stormy weather. All right. So, now I'm going to try running it with this and see if it goes. Who knows? I never even looked at the blade. Maybe I'm just missing half the teeth on my blade. Uh, if you've ever cut up pallets, um, they're not held together with Velcro. With more nails, you know, and staples and pins, dirt, rocks. Maybe if maybe I'm missing half the teeth in my blade, and that's why it's vibrating. But you know, it has been grumbling and growling and getting a little worse over the years. And um, who knows? Click. 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 Does that even want to turn? All right. Stage two. Safety glasses on. One, two, three. Smooth. As Wow, okay. Something happened. When I got up to speed, that gave me a big kick. Not electrical, just something in there around. I think there's something in that gear train. That was not good. That was not good. I don't know if you could hear it. I wonder if the video caught that. Maybe I chipped a tooth off something. Not good. From my mind's eye, it feels like the armature was rubbing against the stator. And that's a bit. Not missing any teeth. Not missing any teeth. But there's some, uh, something in there. Unplugged, right? This uh, oil does have some or grease, does have some definite uh, signs of discoloration. From what? I don't know.
Okay, we're gonna try this again. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And I smell it. So we are missing something. Okay, more screws coming apart. Well, look who I'm working on now, getting this pin out. Oh, you. I'm gonna do that, come on. Really, there's not one from another. And there it goes. Across the room. All right, we got our panties off. I know, I know, I know. I, I heard it. I heard it. Well, I didn't have to do all that, but it's off anyways. More screws deep down in here. I'm thinking. It's uh, plasticky. Just so we can see what the housing is going on here. My big head in the way? Sorry about that. Allergy season. Sorry for all the sniffling. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what we're going to find. I heard it. You heard it. Saw it. And if it's done, it's done. And where did that guy come from? Don't tell me that just lifted off there. Hang on a second. So, again, I say, well, there's the brushes. Nothing too alarming there. I don't think I was touching the stator because for the amount, well, maybe, I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. I'm, how about I put it over here? There. I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't look like it's been damaged. Those are just balancing marks. Oh, but that that's crunchy. The fan. What if there was just you know there was a screw popped out there. That can't be it though. What is keeping that together? I'm going to blow it off with the air gun to see if I can see anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm doing this. Okay. Thinking that's some sort of a bushing or something. And look what pooped out of there. Look what pooped out of there. So I'm sitting here doing this. Thinking, it's got like a red bushing. And I hear this. I hear... 
Come on, you're embarrassing me. I hear this. It's, where's that from? A ball bearing. So, yes, I think that red thing is a sealed bearing. So let me see if I can take that apart. It's gonna... Okay. No! Oh. Well, oh wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. Whoa, that is done. Okay. Well, that's something we can deal with. I don't know if I'll ever find a number on that bearing again, but we'll uh, we'll see. I wonder if the red means high heat or something like that. Alrighty, to the enter Google. Okay, wait. It can't be this easy. To get that bearing out of there. Look at that monster. Watch for Sharpies. Yep. Good. There's hope. A new hope. I have no idea how in the hell I'm going to drive that out of there. I know, it's just plastic, but it's a press fit. Nonetheless, okay, I'll try to get that out. Okay, I've moved you to another area of DAS Lab, and uh, I really do not want to break this. I do not want to break the fan, because uh, it'll go unbalanced. You're not going to glue something like that together. So just holding that bearing in a race uh, in the little V parts of the... There we go. And tappa, uh, tappa, tappa. We're out. Okay, back to a different part of the DAS lab. So, you know what? I'm not going to throw out these bearings. I have a little stash, a little supply, a little hoard that I keep things like that in because you never know. And those of you that know, know that you never know. You know why? Because you never know. So there's my supply of bearings labeled. And I'll just throw those in there. And, uh, wait a second. Oh, okay. Um, I have no idea where these came from. But, the thing is, uh, once I had a floor jack, and it wasn't working, and I remember I was at another place taking it apart to clean it and prime it. I had, uh, saw a ball bearing on the floor, and I thought, no, it never came out of it. They were using a ball bearing as a, as a check valve. So, brought the jack home, and put that in. And I was able to save the jack. All right, so there may be a number in that. There may not be a number in that. I can't tell. This is a job for the magnifying glasses. So you write this down. There is no number on there. And if there was one on here, it's gone. 
So it's up to measuring. It's probably pretty common. It's probably a 35, 40 year old uh, Sears brand Craftsman saw, probably maybe still made in North America. I should be able to get that bearing with the model number. So that being said, we're going to uh, order the parts and uh, I'll get back to you when I get them and we'll put it back together and see if it works. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I heard some of you yelling at me and uh, you know, if you yell it loud enough, I will hear you. So on the race, on the seal here, it does say something like 600, 6001, LLU and I think I'm going to get a pack of soya sauce with it when I order one. Alright, welcome back. Uh, it is a couple days later and uh, guess what I've got. I got a new bearing. Where'd that go on here? I think that's gonna fit. I actually got two just in case. Just in case. So what I'm gonna do is uh made in Japan. It's funny, the the old 25-year-old, 35-year-old uh, craftsman tool, Chinese, and the brand new bearing made in Japan. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to clean that up a little bit and then get ready to press that on. So I got just a bit of a steel wool here. Just want to give it the best chance of going on straight and clean without uh, having all the right tools, you know. Now, wait a second. There was something I wanted to check out. Because... Remember, that went in there. There was the two dogs on there, and then that's going to go in there. So what do you think I have to put on first? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's why I get two bearings. This has to go in first. So let's clean this up in here. And give it a good shot at seating. And then that whole thing will have to go on there. We'll clean that over there, we'll be right back. Okay. So, doesn't seem too bad. Get the socket of the right size. And... You can hear it when it comes, comes home. Right? Okay, and I believe it was... Well, that a guy. And that guy. You know how many times, you know, you get something and you, f you find out what the fix is and you go to put it together and you get that perfect fit or you solder something perfectly and you realize I forgot to put something else on. So I'm glad I remembered this. Actually, <laughs> thought about this in my sleep last night. I phoned the bearing company in a, a town where they used to make GM cars not too long ago, and that's all shut down. They're making masks now, but that town had a bearing supply store, and uh, the fellow said, yeah, we have some of those. Okay, so now that has to go in there. So I want a socket. It's about that size and long enough.
Give me a bit big. I think that's better. And deep enough. Does that look perfect? Oh, wait a second. I have to put it over here. <laughs> Add that backwards. Alright, I gotta get you out of the way. Oh, you're getting heavy. There, that's better. Now to protect the bottom end, because I don't want to mushroom that over. Get that on some nice one now. How far? Geez, I can't tell. Okay, yeah, we can see in there. Got a ways to go yet. Got a ways to go yet. Well, it's already binding, so what does that tell us? Too far? I guess so. I wonder how you'd know. What do you think, flush? Hey, <laughs> moving. That ain't moving. Let's take a look here. Okay, get these brushes out of the way. Remember these from the other day? So, what am I going to do? I'm going to mark that. And I'm going to put a dot there, there, and there. They're set. I don't know if it's going to matter, but. That's the way I'm doing it. Hot here this time of the year for this time of year it's pretty warm it's still uh, early June and it's 30 degrees Celsius can you tell what country I'm from hi hey okay so looking at back there I can see I got about an eighth of an inch you can't see what I'm talking about. I've got about an eighth of an inch. And I can drive that back in. Need a little bit more juice. I hate to do this, but... Alright, I'm going to have to work on this off camera. Okay, so I've driven that back to the point where it is just about flush and of course it spins nice now and when I put it in the state hour
my play is all gone. I'm not bottoming out, though I have no idea what goes where. But we'll figure it out. Okay, it's not like that. It's not like that. It could be like that. Hmm. I sure hope it's not one of those ones where I've got to go back and uh, look at the old videos. Okay, there's only one way this can, this can go on. If I look at this guy here, lined up, hole, hole, hole. Next position, that hole there, well, that's not lined up. Not lined up. Bring him up there, lined up, not lined up, lined up. Not lined up down here. Over there, not li lined up, not lined up, not lined up. The only way it can line up is right there. It's the only time I've got four holes there. All right. Okay, so something interesting here. Um, these two screws were stripped so when i went to put them in they were stripped so that may have been part of the problem is this bearing housing came loose and put some uh, weird thrust on that bearing and maybe that's what all started it so um i may have to trim these down because they're now proud of the uh edge here but I, don't, I won't know until i get more hardware on here but just something that uh you, know, you always try to figure out why did this happen. You know, I don't remember dropping it or any sort of, other than cutting up pallets and it binding. That happened a few times, like maybe 10 times, but that bearing was destroyed. So I, I guess it destroyed once it started to fail, but what caused it to fail in the first place? Maybe this. All right, I'm mostly done screwing around and let's just see if, uh, what it sounds like. Three, Two, one. Not bad. Sounds better than before. Huh. I got an extra screw, but that is a Torx or something. I don't, I'm going to say... That's not off this machine. It's a Torx screw. And it is almost like a, I don't know. So, one last thing to do, and hopefully I did this in the right order. Get this thing back on. I'm not even sure if I got, I, I gotta, I gotta do some figuring out. Hang on, I'll be back. <clears throat> you know, when you're, when you're trying to put something back together, clean it. Then, you know, you can feel the things are snapping together where they should be, like at the manufacturer plant. Clean it. You know, like, I can't tell what the hell's going on there with that. Look at the crap coming under there. Look at that. Now, because I'm going to put that spring in there, I want that spring to do its job. I want to be able to feel when everything's clicking together. That spring is crusty. Just give it a good clean. You'll, you'll learn. You'll learn. There's, you'll spend more time fooling around with it if it's dirty. 
then you will clean them. So, and I'm not talking spotless where you can eat off of it. We're not doing surgery here, but just get the crunchies out of it. Okay, so I've kind of got this figured out. I think that uh, it's going to want to go like that. So one of the, there's one of those things where you always wonder, I'd like to see how they do this at the factory. Because they're not paying some guy $10, $15, $20 an hour to sit here and fool around with a spring. It's in and out. So they either have a tool or a method or both. And I have neither. I have no experience. All I know. That I gotta get that. Dragged around. Over there somewhere. Okay, so no point in watching me. You can start laughing. Okay, I did get it. I ended up grabbing onto this thing and bringing it around and then it clicked in. So what's the goal? The goal is that this guard will flippity flop back into its place. Okay, then what? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, now this thing. This weird little... Uh, Anybody find out what the name of it was yet? Put it in the put it in the box down below. It's with you. <laughs> All right. Ah. I'm trying to think where I've come across one of these springy type things before. That works somewhere. Come on, baby, you can do it. All right, down. Now, see, this is another case where I should have cleaned out that groove. That that is not like <laughs> it's anywhere as recessed as it was before. Maybe a little bit. Lube. Help slide it back into place. I don't think it's going to come out. Come out, and I guess it's holding it in there. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. Okay, before I break something. Now, which way did this go? Oh lord. Okay, that's got a flat on it, so that can't go there. That can go. Eesh. Okay, roundy. Blady. Can we? I'll put it on that way. Roundy. 
bladey. And then with the flat in it. Hmm. That thing. And this is where we all started. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. Well, I don't. Okay. It's gonna spin. I think I flattened my gears a little bit. They'll wear in. Right? Three, two, one, lift off. I heard it too. That's why I bought a spare. I don't have anything to cut. So that is it for the lab. Uh, wow, that's fun. And uh, what can I tell you? Next will be uh, got the new motor for that thing. If you've seen that video, you'll put it on. <sighs> it's a beautiful day. All right, we'll see you next time.